Welcome back to Press Here. That was pop singer Michael Afric. He has toured with NSYNC and Britney Spears, but now Michael has found a new career as an app developer. His company, Emoji, uh, offers a set of emoji-like icons you can add to your chat app. Some are silly, some are corporate. Icons from Starbucks or the latest movie like it. Send it to a friend and say, hey, we should totally see this movie. And your friend can see the trailer and even buy a ticket. Michael has said in the past his emojis have a 100% click-through rate. Thank you for being with us. I want to start with the music. What led you to go from music to, to high-tech and app development? I get asked that all the time, actually. Uh, well, I think it was it's a little bit of both. It's necessity in life because sometimes uh, you know your career goes a certain path and you you get to a certain point and you want to do other things. Sure. You want to expand. Could have your... been a doctor. Yeah, you could I mean, have been I... a scientist. <laughs> you you decided to be an app developer. Yeah. Well, you know, I I had uh, I had noticed a lot of the the synergies between you know what's been going on in, in tech and and the fact that you're bringing content to people on devices that are able to to bring media. And so it was a, it was a pretty uh, seamless uh, move for myself just because I had been very active and involved in my music career. I was, I was a part of all my deals. I was a part sure. of all my licensing contracts. I understood the mechanics of bringing content to a, to a medium like, like, a, like an app or like a, uh, like a person's phone. And so because of that, I was able to sort of parlay a lot of the relationships I had and use the acumen I gained in the music industry sure. to make that viable in this, in this place. What's your favorite app? Hmm. Wow, that's a tough question. I mean, obviously, <laughs> you spend a lot of time using your phone. Uh, I'm, there's text messaging apps, but you must have an app that inspired you to well, say, I want to do this as well. I mean, I, I think right now my favorite app is Tango. Uh, because that's where we are. <laughs> but this, is, I, this is a chat app, and actually that brings up a, uh, there's Tango and a number of them that I was trying out with your emojis to send people these emojis mm -hmm. that I didn't even know existed. Uh, and, a, and they have millions of users. Yeah, it's it's not astonishing. some obscure sort of. Uh, did you know Tango existed? Are you cooler than yes, I am? Yes, but uh, okay. I did know millions of people, and there was a hundred percent click through rate. That actually was kind of surprising. Yeah, well, I think the interesting thing is I remember actually the first time I used Tango, and it was a long time ago when when messaging apps were just getting started, and I liked it because it had messaging, and I knew I could message, you know. From from the U.S. to, to right. another yeah. you know right. another country for free, and then I liked the video calling, and they were some of the first to have that. And uh, then you know, they took on huge investment, uh, and they they sort of expanded. But I didn't realize myself that they had 400 million users. And then as you're starting a business like we started, and you're looking at who the viable places are for you to place your your technology, and you see, wow, Tango's really become something meaningful. And, and a lot of people in this country know it. Some people don't. It also factors into really who's on iOS and who's on Android because there's a big discrepancy. Right. And then Mostly also. Tango or, or Android, I'm assuming? More, more so. I think yeah. you know, in general, apps tend to, to you know, the, the apps with the, the messaging uh, tend to lean a little more Android because that, that's the marketplace, and the marketplace is socioeconomically yes. driven, yes. and those people are benefiting from the free features that they offer. So did you have a background in software coding or programming before you uh, got Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anything about it. Yeah. I, I, I've gotten a little more versed in it uh, now, and I and I try to understand as much as I can. But you know, I, I definitely am an entrepreneur, and I understand what I'm good at and what I'm not. And I am not a coder. But well, then, I, what what are you good at? I mean, what do you honestly? Not much. What do you right right? <laughs> as, as CEO of the company, what do you bring to the company? Um, well, I think I definitely vision. I think we we certainly came up with this idea. You know, back when people were still wondering if emojis were even going to be something real. Was it something beyond just cute expression? Mm -hmm. Was it something beyond just sending somebody a heart or the poop emoji? Um, you know, what does that really mean? And, and, and that was almost four years ago. Uh, WhatsApp had not been bought yet by Facebook for $20 billion, and people weren't calling messaging what it's being called today, which is the new social. And now you can see that more time is spent on that. And, and I think that. What I bring to this company is the idea of where this can go, where we started from. And at the same time, I think that it, it does take a special ingredients of group, uh, a, a, a ingredient in your group. Sure. Um, this can't just be a tech play, because what we're doing is we're dealing with media and we're dealing with technology. We're dealing with apps and licensing. We're dealing with commerce and all of those things. And, and, and I find myself in a unique position, I think, in my life uh, and in my experiences to, to lead that, that sort of team. Do you overuse one of the emojis? Um, 
Well, that's interesting. I don't, actually. I use them all evenly. <laughs> you love, all of, you love all of your emojis <laughs> evenly. <laughs> that. Now, originally, when the company first started, you were saying 100% click-through rate. If you send me one of these things, I'm going to, just out of curiosity, click it. And every single time. Every single time. Well, and it's, it is amazing, because you do see the trailer. I mean, there's so much more functionality. Well, it makes sense on a behavioral. Um, it, 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 uh, basically, what happens is, when we started this company, there was a, a statistic that 98% of all text messages are open within three minutes of receipt. Sure. And the people uh, 98 percent of people have their phone uh, within seven feet of them at 24 hours a day. So well, and when when I get something odd like a like an emoji or something I haven't seen before, I do trust it in a way that I wouldn't if it came over email because I mean Connie sent it to me. Exactly. It must be something. That's hey, click here. It's good. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's going to be a safe click. If you think of it this way. We're, we're tapping into a different social graph. You know, this is long gone are the days of wishing somebody a happy birthday on Facebook you've never met before or congratulating someone on LinkedIn for a job that you don't know. Th this is emojis and, and where we exist, we're tapping into the top 10 people in your phone right. who you're texting. That's your mom, your dad, your brother, your wife, your girlfriend, you know, whoever it is. Never screw you up your ever, wife or your girlfriend. Have you way, ever ignored a text message from one of those people? No, I you know, know, you no, never and have. If, and if someone says, hey, you should see this, or hey, this is great, or this is awesome, or I got you a coffee, or, you don't just blow that off. Michael, I got, I got 10 seconds I want to ask you the most important question. More fun to, to uh, tour with Britney Spears or NSYNC? Oh, <laughs> I didn't think you were going there. <laughs> Where, 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 I, I we'll, love we'll them both know. equally. Of course you do. <laughs> we'll never know where he thought I was going because we're out of time. We'll be back in a moment.